Hi, welcome back to UA Technical Solutions. In this tutorial we will learn how to assess energy performance of an HVAC system. Purpose of the performance test. The purpose of performance assessment is to verify the performance of a refrigeration system by using field measurements. The test will measure net cooling capacity, tons of refrigeration, and energy requirements, at the actual operating conditions. The objective of the test is to estimate the energy consumption at actual load vis a vis design conditions. Performance terms and definition. Tons of refrigeration, TR, 1 ton of refrigeration is the amount of cooling obtained by 1 ton of ice melting in one day, 3024 kcal per hour, 12,000 BTU per hour or 3.516 thermal kilowatt. Net refrigerating capacity. A quantity defined as the mass flow rate of the evaporator water multiplied by the difference in enthalpy of water entering and leaving the cooler, expressed in kcal per hour, tons of refrigeration. Kilowatt per ton rating, commonly referred to as efficiency, but actually power input to compressor motor divided by tons of cooling produced, or kilowatts per ton. Lower kilowatt per ton indicates higher efficiency. Coefficient of performance, chiller efficiency measured in BTU output, cooling, divided by BTU input, electric power. Energy efficiency ratio, EER, performance of smaller chillers and rooftop units is frequently measured in EER rather than KW, ton. EER is calculated by dividing a chiller's cooling capacity, in BTU, H, by its power input, in watts, at full load conditions. The higher the EER, the more efficient the unit. To determine the net refrigeration capacity. The net refrigeration capacity in tons shall be obtained by the following equation. Net refrigeration capacity in TR equals M into C into X, T in minus T out, divided by 3024. Where M, mass flow rate of chilled water, cubic meter per hour. CP, specific heat, kilo calorie per kilogram OC. T in, chilled water temperature at evaporator inlet in centigrade. T out, chilled water temperature at evaporator outlet in centigrade. Methods of measuring the flow. In the absence of an online flow meter, the chilled water flow can be measured by the following methods. In case where hot well and cold well are available, the flow can be measured from the tank level dip or rise by switching off the secondary pump. Non-invasive method would require a well-calibrated ultrasonic flow meter using which the flow can be measured without disturbing the system. If the water side pressure drops are close to the design values, it can be assumed that the water flow of pump is same as the design rated flow. Measurement of compressor power. The compressor power can be measured by a portable power analyzer which would give reading directly in KW. If not, the ampere has to be measured by the available online ammeter or by using a tong tester. The power can then be calculated by assuming a power factor of 0 0.9. Power in kilowatt equals pi 3 into V into I into cos theta. Where I equals current. V equals volts. The energy efficiency of a chiller is commonly expressed in one of the three following ratios. 1. Coefficient of performance equals kilowatt of refrigeration effect divided by kilowatt input. 2. Energy efficiency ratio equals BTU per hour refrigeration effect divided by watt input. 3. Power per ton or kilowatt per tom equals kilowatt input divided by tons of refrigeration effect. First calculate the KW, ton rating from the measured parameters. A kilowatt per ton rating equals measured compressor power in kilowatt divided by net refrigeration capacity in TR. Use this data to calculate other energy efficiency parameters with the following relations. COP equals 0 0.293 EER. Kilowatt per ton equals 12 EER. Kilowatt per ton equals 3.516 COP. EER equals 3.413 COP. EER equals 12 per kilowatt per ton. COP equals 3.516 per kilowatt per ton. B. Coefficient of performance, COP. COP equals 3.516 divided by kilowatt per ton rating. C. Energy efficiency ratio, EER, equals 12 divided by kilowatt per ton rating. Let's practice what we learned via an example. In a brewery chilling system, ethylene glycol is used as secondary refrigerant. The design capacity is 40 trail. 
A test was conducted to find out the operating capacity and energy performance ratios. The flow was measured by switching off the secondary pump and measuring the tank level difference in hot well. Measurements data. Temperature of ethylene glycol entering evaporator equals minus 1 degree C. Temperature of ethylene glycol leaving evaporator equals minus 4 degrees Celsius. Ethylene glycol flow rates equals 13,200 kilogram per hour. Evaporator ethylene glycol pressure drop, inlet to outlet, equals 0.7 kilograms per square centimeter. Power input to compressor electrical power, KW equals 39.5 kilowatt. Specific heat capacity of ethylene glycol equals 2.34 kcal, KGOC. Shown is the final calculation of all the data and formula we just learned. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions.